Hi everybody, Teresa here and welcome to the Cozy Chat Corner today on I Can Achieve. I thought I'd talk today about motivation, that word motivation which means to me, you know, you're excited, you're going for it, you can get to where you want to go. But actually sometimes we don't feel like that. And when we don't feel motivated, when we don't feel like we can achieve stuff, we get a bit fed up and a bit low. And sometimes actually we might feel that we're not worth it or we decide to not keep going with our mission because everybody should be excited and motivated about our business. But honestly, we don't always feel like that. Sometimes we're tired. Sometimes we've um, lost our way. Sometimes there's so much going on, we're not actually sure what to do first. Then that big, big old procrastination word sort of puts its head above the parapet. And then we actually don't even know what to do. So what I'm going to talk about motivation today, and I have a little tiny theory that I'd like to share with you. And it's about keeping in the mind's eye of why we're doing it. You know, we hear lots of gurus out there talking about why, what is, the, what is your dream, what is your mission, what is that big why. But I think, honestly, it's keeping it in sight. The reason why, be it your family, be it holidays, be it um, self-worth, internal self-worth, be it wanting to do something for somebody else. Whatever that reason is, is actually keeping that in your view. Now, keeping it in front of you, whether that is writing it down, drawing pictures, popping it on a screensaver on your phone, being able to just reflect on it every, well, hopefully every single day so it becomes normal. It becomes part of your story. It becomes your direction that you're actually aiming at. When time, you know, times get tough, feel fed up, you don't want to do anything, you know, other people ask for things and you just go for, with that, it's easier. Now, there's lots of things that actually derail us, I suppose is the word. But some lovely people talked to me this morning on our chat. You know, some people out there in, the, in our beautiful, fabulous community were saying what motivation means to them. Um, some people are saying that actually it's a book, a film, something to get you going, something to get you excited about what life's about. Maybe a song, maybe singing around the kitchen table, you know, to get the blood flowing and getting to that right direction. Other people were saying actually they don't actually believe in the motivation side of it. It's actually just doing it. Do it anyway, whether you feel like it or not. Have a process where you go. This is what I'm doing today. Du, 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 du. Tick, tick, tick. And that is what it is. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're motivated, excited, directional or not. You just do the steps. It's another theory. And I suppose there's other things there about people getting things done. But actually, it's that initial feeling when that motivation, I can do it, I can do it, it goes. It's what can you do to keep it going? People say... That is their challenge. They're excited about something, but you know, a nice shiny penny comes up or um, somebody suggests another way and you take that. So there's lots of things about motivation and I think we're all individual. So what is it, ladies? What is it out there that you think motivation is? Do you think it's a, just a word? Is it something that you aim at? Is it something that you... Um, you know, rally yourself up to, to get to where you want? Is it a, um, I say, a dance around around the table or is it a quick hike down the road? So let me know. I personally think part of our motivation is making sure what we're doing is fun and we like it. And, and we just are connected to our business because it just gives us something in our life that we want. So yeah, over to you ladies. Let me know what you feel motivation is and let's talk about it. Let's get out there. So everybody is on the, what's the term, on the same page. Actually, I don't think we're ever going to be on the same page because we're all so different. Right, love you all my darlings. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye bye.